2.8 billion. That's the number of touchscreen panels that will be shipped by the end of this year in the world. This number will be triple by 2020, with market value of more than $60 billion. This means that in the next few years, we need to make more than 4 billion touchscreen panels per year. Beside these crazy numbers, the new device technology calls for flexible devices. Transparent <coughs> touchscreen panels are placed on top of device to displays in your devices. And transparent electrode film is a crucial component of these devices. This thin film needs to be electrically conductive so it can respond to your touch, and at the same time, it must be transparent so you can see the display behind it. Currently, indium tin oxide film, so-called ITO, is the most commonly used material. However, this material has two major problems. First, indium is rare. If you keep using this material, the price of touchscreen panels will increase drastically in future. The second problem, ITO is not flexible. So it's not possible to make flexible touchscreen touch panels using ITO. I started my research at the University of Waterloo to find the best alternative material to replace conventional materials. We know that the metals are the most conductive materials, and silver is at the top of the list. However, a thin film of metal is not transparent. So I use silver nanowires, which are 1,000 times thinner than your hair, to make a film of conductive network. This network is highly conductive because nanowires make a highly conductive path for electrons. And since nanowires are small and only cover 10% of the surface, you won't see them, so they are transparent. We know that the cost is one of the most important parameters for industry. And you might think that silver is already an expensive material. That's right. But only 30 milligram of silver was used to make one meter square transparent electrode, which will be the half price of the ITO films. Beside this benefit, silver nanowire network is pretty flexible and can be deposited on plastic substrate, which enables fabricating flexible tra transparent uh, touchscreen panels. I believe the result of my research will help the device technology. And the dream of having flexible devices will come true very soon. Thanks.